our website. So Susan can save money, energy, and help the environment. And Barry can rest easy knowing this. People are dealing with storm damage right now, and a lot of people are having to look for contractors to hire. Unfortunately, after a big storm like we've had, that's when the con artists come out of the woodwork, and that's why you have to be very careful. Experts say you do not want to hire the guy driving down the road who knocks on your door and says he's doing work in the neighborhood and would like to help you repair your damage. Obviously, if there's a danger of more damage to, to your home, you have to get some work done immediately. But after that, be very patient about who you hire. Get estimates. If one is a lot less than the others, that is not the one you want to go with. Check the company out with the Better Business Bureau and your county's Consumer Affairs Office. And always have a contract. And if it's a roof contract, experts say ask for a warranty. What you really want is a warranty uh, for five years or ten years where they, where they write down that they will, if there's any leakage, uh, replace and uh, repair the roof at no cost to you. And that includes materials and labor. Now, if you want help finding a reputable roofer or a tree removal company, Delaware Valley Consumers Checkbook is offering Survive and Thrive viewers right now free access to their ratings, which is usually only accessible by subscription, but they're offering it to our viewers free. You can check out their ratings for the next week free by coming to NBCPhiladelphia.com and search Survive and Thrive. And that is our show for today. I hope you got a lot of information, especially if you're dealing with storm damage right now. If you have any further questions, post them on my Facebook page, and we will get you expert answers. Now to NBC10 News at 6 and Tim Lake. Tim? All right, Tracy, thank you. And next year on NBC10 News at 6, a baby girl is missing tonight. Her father has admitted to doing the unthinkable. We are live now with the latest. And also next tonight on NBC10 News at 6. I'm Stacey Weaver at the Lehigh Valley, where a local crash victim joins lawmakers in trying to ban the...